Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about a vulnerability in BB-8. I thought I'd end the week with a little bit of fun by discussing a new flaw that was found in this particular Spiro BB-8 toy. The flaw comes from a group calling themselves Pentest Partners, who actually did a little bit of an analysis on this particular toy, or more specifically, they did an analysis on the mobile application you use to control this toy. What they essentially found was the Android version of the mobile application used for BB-8 actually communicates with servers using HTTP. It actually has a firmware update mechanism where you use the mobile app to update this firmware and it uses clear web traffic to actually download the new firmware. This is actually something that a lot of Android applications have been found to do. The fact that they actually use HTTP rather than HTTPS means that a bad guy that can man in the middle your traffic can actually intercept this particular communication. So what can a bad guy do with it? Well, the good news is you really can't use BB-8 to do anything that destructive. At worst, a bad guy might be able to force a trojanized firmware onto this device, but the device doesn't really contain anything other than a little bit of motion generating sensors. So there's really nothing bad anyone can do with this other than maybe make the toy move in an erratic fashion or maybe replace the sounds in the application and make it make sounds that you don't want it to make. By the way, the researchers didn't actually analyze the Bluetooth communication between the mobile device and this particular toy, but they hypothesized there could be issues there. But again, you couldn't do anything too dangerous with it. The one dangerous theory they did point out is if your mobile device suffers from some sort of Bluetooth stack vulnerability, none of which are known right now, it's possible that an attacker could take advantage of this man in the middle flaw to load something bad in the mobile application that would leverage the Bluetooth flaw and maybe pop your mobile device. But again, this is all theoretical. There's, there's really no Bluetooth stack vulnerability that anyone knows of right now. Anyways, I just thought this was an interesting Internet of Things hack, especially considering the popularity of the new Star Wars movie. And this is a pretty fun toy, but it's really nothing you should worry about. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>